Is it legal for a teacher to confiscate, retain and perhaps even dispose of student property, which might include mobile phones? The short answer is yes. And the longer answer is, as usual, a little bit more complicated because these stories have hit the media and the news with mixed circumstances, mixed views and a few quirks along the way. So before we get into those, if you're new to me, I'm Daniel Shensmith, a barrister of England and Wales. Please do bop that like button and subscribe if you find this content useful. So first of all, let's dive straight into the law. The law does protect teachers where the confiscation was lawful. Section 94 of the Education Act of 2006, the Education Inspections Act 2006, provides that as a disciplinary penalty where the confiscation was lawful, there's a few little things that make it lawful, but we'll come back to those at another time perhaps. But so long as it was a lawful confiscation, it is a disciplinary penalty where an item that a pupil has with them in their possession has been seized and it's retained for any period or is disposed of. And accordingly, a person who seizes, retains or disposes of an item is not liable in any proceedings in respect of the seizure, the retention or the disposal, as the case might be, um, or any damage or loss that arises in connection, in consequences of it. If he proves that the seizure, retention or disposal, as the case might be, was lawful, whether or not by virtue of Section 91, and that it obviously has other uh, implications to it. Now, this essentially provides that if a teacher deems it necessary and reasonable in all of the circumstances, as most of these cases are deemed and assessed, if they confiscate something and it is lawfully confiscated and it is reasonable in those circumstances, then the law will protect them from any proceedings for the seizure, the retention and the disposal of that item. And that could include a mobile phone. So um, if they do that and they show that it was reasonable and proportionate, for example, it's within their school policies and that sort of stuff to make it clear that this is what we accept and this is what we don't accept, then there is a legal defence for doing exactly this. However, that's the short version. As I said, it's never quite as simple as that because some of the stories that have hit the media take this a step further, for which I respectfully suggest is not uh, lawful. Let's go now to a story from the mirror. Any photographs herein are incidental inclusion for anyone that's looking at it and it's not copyright infringement. Um, that's a, a, a side uh, thing that you can understand there. Um, so here it says a man was fuming as the teacher confiscates the daughter's phone for a week but that was actually lawful, but then uses it as her own and reportedly tried to sign in using her own Apple ID. So not only did she take the phone, which was lawful, so long as it was uh, lawfully confiscated and there was uh, reasonable circumstances that made that possible, she then went on to use it as her own. Now, that is a stretch too far, not least of which because it is using it as though it was her own property, which could amount to conversion because treating something as your own rather than the confiscation, which is the penalty and the disciplinary action taken by the school, but using something as your own, treating it as your own, treating it as you are the owner is a conversion, which is the sort of equivalent to theft. So if you're using something as your own, there's potentially a legal case here if it could be shown that she's been using this phone as her own phone. Um, the article goes on, um, turning to Reddit, the woman complaining said that my spouse and I have a child that we'll call Hannah, um, obviously not a real name, um, picked her up and said one of the teachers, call her Mrs. K, took her phone and uh, looking at it during class, because she was looking at it during class, that's the circumstances that it was confiscated in the first place, um, told her that she need to keep her phone in her pocket during class, etc. Every day she tells me that she asked for it back and she and the teacher refused on the Thursday she sent an email asking whether she can expect the phone back and that she would like to have it and for the weekend but no reply a whole week passed and then today she gets in the car tells me that she'd asked it for it and then didn't even get an answer teacher just ignored her uh, she lost patience went into the school the mum this is and found that the teacher was standing outside the classroom and told that it was time she gave her the phone back she continued to say that the teacher told her that she needs to stop using her phone in class, etc. The parent agreed. Um, the mum made a scene. Students and teachers alike were staring, but she relented and wouldn't. Uh, and, and she said she would get the phone out of her office and come back three minutes later. And essentially, it transpired that she tried to use this phone as her own. 
However, on return of the phone, there were two things found wrong at this point. One, they said that the screen was cracked when it wasn't before. That, uh, I suggest, still comes within the Education Inspection Act of 2006 in the damage to the property there is a defence if it was lawfully confiscated and it was reasonably the circumstances. However, the child also discovered that she had to re-log into her own Apple ID, which she thought was a bit strange. And then when she went to look at the account, she saw a second Apple ID belonging to Mrs. K, the teacher, even showing her full name and the avatar. They said, we think she may have merged the data or something too, because there are contacts there that we don't recognize on the phone. The mum lost it and told the child that she can't use the phone for now because she's worried that the teacher's got access to something on her end and sent her an email demanding an explanation. Now, quite obviously, this is a step and a stretch too far because if a teacher confiscates an item property within reason and in the circumstances that are reasonable at the time, that doesn't mean that they can go on to use it as their own, not least of which there are data protection consequences if they're using it other than in accordance with a disciplinary policy and within the rules and the law. Although there are certain laws that do protect schools from inspecting phones for looking for certain material. We'll come back to that in another video. But this overall was unreasonable and unlawful in my view. But coming back to the original question, if you take property into school, or if you're a parent who has a child that takes property into school, just bearing in mind that the school can confiscate it, retain it, and even dispose of it. And there is a defense under the Education and Inspections Act of 2006 if that property gets lost or destroyed. So I hope you found this bit of guidance useful. Please do subscribe to the channel if you find these guidance videos useful and uh, drop a comment down below and all of that stuff that helps YouTube to spread my videos to a wider audience. In the meantime, I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.